Hello YouTube. Today we're making and canning Sloppy Joes. I'm going to show you how I make Sloppy Joe pie at the same time in this process. Uh, I make a dough that I call the best ever dough that you're able to actually make ahead of time. Put in the freezer or refrigerator. I mostly keep it in the refrigerator. It lasts a week to 10 days. <clears throat> I just took about 30 or 40 percent of the dough just enough to press in the bottom of a 9 by 13 pan and set that out to rise while I'm making the sloppy joes. I took three pounds of thawed hamburger meat and I've added a cup and a half of onions and a cup and a half of bell peppers. We're going to cook that until it gets nice and, and uh, about two-thirds done. To that we're going to add a heaping two cup measuring cup of ketchup it actually calls for three quarters of a cup of ketchup per pound of meat and then we're going to add a heaping cup of drained diced petite tomatoes you'll mix that in because this actually needs to simmer about 25 or 30 minutes so we're going to get that mixed in and then we'll start incorporating our other ingredients that are need to, needed to make a really great sloppy joe We're even going to incorporate some green chilies into this, give it a really nice flavor. Uh, this will taste better than any Sloppy Joe mix out of the can or powdered mix that you can buy in the store. You're also going to want to add some salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, all that's to your taste. I took a large can of whole green chilies, chopped those, and added them with the juice into sloppy joes. This juice and the green chilies really gives it a nice flavor. We're also going to add some Worcestershire, a little bit of uh, prepared mustard. Actually added a tablespoon of Worcestershire. You don't want to go overboard on the Worcestershire. To me too much of this could really make it taste kind of nasty so we added about a tablespoon then we're going to add about a teaspoon of mustard didn't take much of the mustard either after you get that in that's basically it we're going to add a little bit of molasses and a little bit of sugar we added about a teaspoon to a tablespoon of molasses and maybe two tablespoons of sugar. It's going to be, the measurements are all in my recipe that will be down below. You don't want to add too sugar or it's going to, too much sugar, it's going to taste sweet. Uh, your ketchup already has a little bit of sugar in it, so you don't want to add too much. It needs just a little bit, but not too much. This is where I added about a tablespoon of Grandma's Old Fashioned Molasses. Uh, the recipe calls for brown sugar, but what I do is I add a tablespoon of molasses, a couple tablespoons of just regular sugar. So if you don't have brown sugar, you don't have to buy it. I'm also going to add some paprika and a little bit of chili powder. These just are a little bit of flavor enhancers. It's not going to really make it taste like chili. Uh, Chili powder and paprika are basically ground peppers, so you're just adding more of a peppery taste to it. This is all it is to it, guys. You just uh, let it simmer for 25-30 minutes after you get everything incorporated. Uh, cook it with a lid on it. And then we added probably about three cups to our bread. I went ahead and cooked my bread for about 15 minutes on 400. You want to brown it before you add your um, sloppy joe mix to the top of it. We're also going to top it with cheese and pop it back in the oven. The reason I bake the bread before we put the sloppy joe mix on is if you don't your bread just really isn't going to rise a whole lot and it really has a better taste. So we added like I said about three cups of the sloppy joe mix to the bread. Added uh, a little bit of cheddar, a little bit of Velveeta, and that's our sloppy joe mix. 
uh, to can this sloppy joe mix you add it to pints or quarts pints will be pressured at 10 pounds for 75 minutes quarts will be pressured for 90 minutes this is really a great quick meal for later on uh, if you don't know how to pressure can then find you a good video here on youtube on how to pressure can uh, this is the pressured prepper channel if you have any questions leave them in the comments below be sure to click on the little notifications bell so you get any kind of notifications of any new videos coming out have a great day. This is Pressure Prepper, and I'm out.